Good morning, everyone. Big Box Dave here from Magic the Gathering Attitude. Oh, <laughs> Dominaria. There it is. Zach Lucius, thank you. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just rub that right across there one more time. Why not? All right, here we go. Beautiful knife, by the way, Zach. Thank you. All right, guys. Hey, Dominaria box break. So uh, this sold out in about five minutes. <laughs> so I, I'll have to go find another box of this stuff. So, here you have it. There you have it. I mean, obviously, the bomb card that we're looking for is uh, Mox Amber, uh, Teferi. What else you got in there? Oh, my God. There are so many goddamn cards in that set. Uh, obviously, all the all the, uh, the dual lands and, and whatnot. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, that's right. Hello, the host, Larry Dawnbringer. I just looked real quick online. So, uh, yeah, here you have it. Yeah, let's open these up, man. Oh, my God. So, this, this set, and this is the last Richard Garfield set, too. Alright, here we go. Let's just uh, kind of shuffle these up. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Put these on the side. Pick some of these in. Why not? There it is, right there. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough for government work, as we used to say in the Army. Here we go. Okay. That's good enough right there. Okay, so we got one, two, oop, two fall on the floor. Those are going to pause. All right, three, four, five, and six. Put that right there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. Right there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, so we sold these by sixes and threes. So that was the habit yeah, right there. Okay, perfect, man. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we're going to start off. Hey, pause. There you go, buddy. You got your six right there. So, uh, hey, guys, thanks for participating in this. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're almost three minutes in now. Good luck, gentlemen. So, this is just a box break. Uh, I am going to be doing a battle uh, next week. That is happening. That is happening. All right, here we go. Get right to it, and I'm I'm gonna go right to the, the good stuff, guys. That's that's how this is gonna go down. If you hear my my throat, it is a little groggy right now. I do apologize. All right, Sarah Angel. Okay, that's, that's something. Oh, Camille. Okay, there you go. Druidic foul. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right, come on, pause. I, I love pause. Pause just makes me smile. Yeah, get a little spit all in the pack there, pause. <laughs> Let me know if you want those. No, I'm just going to toss them, guy. Just going to toss them. This set is starting to go bonkers. It's up to almost $300 a box now. I was, as as I was. it was. Uh, it's up to $250 a box. Okay, Traxos. Not bad. Not bad, pause. Um, yeah, they're they're up to $240, $250, and they're just going to go, they're going to get higher. So by the, by the year's end, they'll be up to $300. I think it was uh, Moxman that was talking about that. So, and... Um, I found this box at such a cheap price because of Luke Ramey at Wild Boy Gaming. So, Luke, thank you. We surely appreciate you. Okay, Cabell Stronghold. Not bad, man. Not bad, brother. So, look at that hit, though. I, I, I want Paws to get into Teferi. I really want him to get into Teferi. It's <laughs> so bad. Not the most expensive in the set, but he just he loves Teferi. So, I'm just tilting him because of the, because of the, the light. Does that make sense, guys? All right, here we go. All right. And, oh, hold on. Dean of Iteration. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. All right. Next pack. Here we go. Come on, pause. Two more. Two more packs. There it is. What did that say? Corset 19? Eh. Right around that time. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Fire Fist Adept. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there's this ruinous blast. Not bad, but horrible. Not horrible. So, I will be seeing Paws at the end of the summer. We are getting together at the uh, at the island this year, I'm, and I'm looking forward to it more and more. I really am. So, I I think we all need to get away for a little bit. Hey, here we go. Skirk prospers here. That card sees a lot of play. I hate that card. <laughs> I just hate that card. All right, Dreadshade. Oh. Sorry, Paws. Ooh, Paws, you did get a foil, though. Garner, that might be a little something, bro. That might be a little something. All right, guys. Hey, pause for the cause. Stand by. And we're back. All right, Pawsy. Get this off to the side here. It, it, you know what? I wish this could have been a little better for you. I mean, you did you did pull the one, the, the Cabal Stronghold. It's about a $5 hit, man. But that's about it, my friend. I'm so sorry, bud. I really am. All right. Moving on here. Who do we get next? Okay, we have got G Unit, Ghost Unit. Mm, there it is. All right, actually, hey, pause real, real quick, guys. I'm going to just fix the lighter real quick. And we're back. Okay, that is much better. All right, G Unit, here you go, bud. Here are your six right here. Right here. Good luck, buddy. So, story time. Story time. So, when I was a wee lad, um, so I do have an older sister. And so, interesting, interesting facts about me. Um, ooh, sorry about that. Let's get right to it. Um, when I was born, uh, well, first off, my sister's almost three years older than me. So, she was around the house prior to this bundle of joy coming into the world. And, uh, ooh, Naru. There we go, man. Not bad, G-Unit. Not bad. And so she was the only child for a long time. Uh, when I came into the world, uh, my my feet were inverted. So for the first year of my life, I was in I was in braces. These bars. And they were like almost like, uh, like you know, braces on your teeth. To just slowly turn and see your teeth are normal. Your teeth legs are normal. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, anyway... Um, so for the first year of my life, I was literally on my stomach, All right. or on my back. Either way, it didn't it didn't matter. So, and I was a really quiet kid. My parents thought I, I was so quiet. My parents thought I was deaf. I see this. I'm making up for lost time right now. So, so anyway, um, so not needless to say, a lot of attention was given to me, and a lot of attention was taken away from the girl that was there for three years prior to this guy coming into the world. So, uh, ooh, Tadiova. Tadiova's a nice little hit. Oh, Ch Goblin Jane Whirler. That's a nice hit, too, man. Not bad. And Primordial Worm. Venom. So, anyway, there was a little resentment on my sister's part. And, uh, and uh, like, we, we've talked about this, too. We, we have. And my sister's even said it. She's like, yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, anyway. Um... So the, like she would do, you know, and then I, then we both had a younger brother she, and she got along very well with him. With me, not so much, not so much. And she would just like, like her and her friends, oh, it's old as a fairy. <laughs> Pretty goddamn close to that, man. That's what I said though, man. Ooh, and a foil swamp. That would be a little something. I'll put that over there. Anyway, um, like she and her, like her fat friends would like pin me down on the ground. They put makeup on me and shit. Or, uh, and which is like, that's nothing. That's, I think that's, that was pretty normal for the time. So, you know, like, just flexing their dominance on me. But she was like, she was brutal to me. She, I, I'll never forget this one. Like, I put my, like, I was looking at a grill and we were going to get marshmallows that night, you know, roasted marshmallow, toasted marshmallows. And I was about five years old. I'm putting my hand over the, over the grate of the grill, like the top of it, the little part where you open up where the heat comes out. And I saw the heat coming out. I didn't understand the concept, so I kept putting my hand over it like this. And my sister goes, "Oh yeah, no, it's just it's just heat coming out of the grill." She's like, "You put your hand on it, see?" And she puts her hand over it. She goes, "Like, go, go ahead, try it." I go, "Okay." So I put my hand over it. As soon as I do that, she pushes my hand on the grill. It's a true story. And my hand poof, just blew up right away. So there you have that. That is a true story. And I'm like, what? You know, I, I told my mom, like, she did it on purpose, you know. She's like, no, 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 his hand was near the grill. You told him to stay away from the grill. I was swatting his hand away and accidentally hit the grill. I'm like, I got, like, circles in my hand because <laughs> because of the great imprints. So, yeah, that one hurt, man. That one hurt. I, I will not forget that pain. So, more stories to come it, 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 on this uh, adventure. Okay, there we go. Joda, Archmain Eternal. Not bad, man. Actually, it, Ghost, you did pretty good here, man. Pause for the cause, guys. 
And we're back. Okay, hey, G unit. Sorry, man. It's, pause and G unit are not starting off pretty good. So hopefully the storytelling will help out a little bit. Okay, so when I was little, I used to love Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels, all the stuff. You know, things like that. And my dad, he had this uh, old Lazy Boy. And he would uh, move it up for me and it would expose the, the metal tracks in the back where the Lazy Boy went up and down on. And I used to ask him to move it forward for me because it was too heavy. And, I, you know, and I'd take my cars and I'd put them on the track and, you know, slide them down. Uh, so, ooh, Silway. Silway's a little something, man. I'll put that off to the side. And hazardous bombardment. <laughs> By the way, this uh, Ace, this is for you, bud. These are your six packs. Everybody's like, hey, Solari, stop the stories. Get into the, get, get into this. So anyway, uh, um, so I'm, I'm sliding my cars down the back of the track uh, uh, of the chair. And, uh, ooh, up, not bad. And the top of the chair kind of like goes up. And I look up and I see these little, you know, these four little fingers peeking over in my sister's face. And sorry about that. And ooh, Wildrotha. Man, this card used to be so much money, man. But Wildrotha, nice hit, Ace. Not bad. Wildrotha's good. And uh, I looked up and, you know, and my sister, you know, she had been beating on me a couple times at, at this point. And uh, she's like, what are you doing? I go, I'm playing. Like, I was always suspect of her, you know, kind of like one of those things. And uh, as soon as I put my hand in the track, her other hand was by the lever. And she hit it. She hit the lever. And it released the chair with the chair's weight and her weight on it. Ooh, Karn's Temporal Sunderer, not bad. That's a D-set. That's a D-set. Ace isn't doing too bad. And it slid down and, like, like rip the, it's it's actually this finger right here you see how it's like it's still kind of jacked up to this day all right and uh the fingernail was just hanging on by a little, like a little thread i'm like ah and, and she comes up to me she puts her hand over my mouth she's like don't you cry don't you cry i'm like Ooh. you know i'm kind of, kind of like whimpering and then she goes let me see a finger and she takes my finger and she goes Bee! and she pulls the fingernail off and i'm like ah and i just lose my shit and uh i'm like bah! you know and uh, i'm like she, Jen waited until I put my hand on the track and she released the chair. She goes, no, no, no. I, I, I was getting off the chair and I accidentally hit it. I'm like, and I'm just thinking to myself, like, the chair, the, the little handle goes from front to back. Uh, Zahid, not bad. Zahid, but is not bad at all. Um, And I'm like, I'm like she, and she would just lie her way out of it. Like, just beat on me and get away with it. So this is one night we're playing War. And, um... With some, you know, obviously playing cards. If anybody remembers the game more, let me know in the comments. And um, I had to go to the bathroom real quick, so I went to the bathroom. Ooh, History of Benalia. Not bad, man. Hey, you're not doing too bad, man, actually. And uh, when I went and I came back, <laughs> there were magically three aces in her pile, or four aces in her pile, and four kings in mine, and she just took my four kings. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I had an ace or two, and I only had a couple kings. I didn't have four kings. I'm like, you're cheating. So uh, she goes, no, I'm not. And she kind of pushed me. And I go, yes, you are. 200 giant. Oh, sorry, buddy. And I'll just tell this real quick. And and uh, so I took a Matchbox car that was right next to me. And I just went, and I threw it at her and hit her in the head. And we'll, we'll, we'll pause it right here. And we're back. All right. Yeah, the Modolfa is pretty nice, actually, man. Not bad. Not bad. We're not, you know, we're halfway, we're what? Yeah, we're halfway through. We need to, we need, we need some bangers here. And we're going to start it off with Kylan. Come on, Kylan. What do you say? I mean, this box has been a little weak, I have to say. Right, but we're going to turn that around. Okay, here we go. Um, So, yeah. So, I threw the matchbox card and hit my sister in the head. And she looks at me and she looks at my, my parents. And she looks back at me. And it's like at nighttime. And she starts crying. Now, mind you, my parents saw it. And this was like a split-second thing that she did. And my dad came over. And, and he, you know, this is one of two times my father whacked me in the ass. In my life. My dad hated hitting us. And he's like, you don't hit girls. And I look over my mom. And my sister is like leaning on her legs behind her. And she goes, oh, with a tour guard. Not bad. And she goes, I got you. Like she mouthed, I got you to, to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I hate this girl so much. So that was like my life with my sister growing up. Uh, for damn sure. <laughs> there's, no other, there's no other way to say that. So as time goes on. As time goes on, we actually moved into a, a different house. Uh, we got a bigger home, and uh, my dad started making a, you know a bit more money. And uh, oh, Traxos again, man. Traxos isn't bad; it's like a buck or so. But 
And we're really not doing that good with this box. I don't like this box so far. So it was like 1985. So I'm like 10, <laughs> thereabouts. And my sister's, you know, 13. And she's starting to watch us when my mom's out working. Okay, Lich's Mastery, not bad. Oh, okay, Foil Oath of Tafari. I thought it was the Foil Tafari. That would have been amazing. Foil Oath, that's about five bucks, man. That's about three, four or five bucks. And uh, so we used to have these uh, days with the cable TV. Mondays was my sister's. Tuesdays was my day. Like basically we get, we get control of the cable because it was like a new concept in our family. And, uh, and Wednesdays with my brothers. And then on Thursday, I would go back to my sister. Okay. Kazarov, not bad, not good. And, uh, and then, uh, Thursday, go back to my sister and the Friday back to me. And then the following week, it would be the same thing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, same order, but Thursday would be my brother. So my brother would get it Wednesday, Thursday, and then back to my sister on Friday. So it alternated, you know, we, we had a good, like a little schedule and whatnot. And she, you know, she was the king shit. She wanted the first day of the week. Oh, G Gilded Lotus, man. Whoo, I thought it was <laughs> in charge. You get two foils so far, man. Not bad. And uh, we had a holiday Monday for school. And we went to school on Tuesday and I came home. My sister's watching on TV. I grabbed the remote, flipped the channel. You know, putting on like, uh, I don't know, G.I. Joe, Transformers, what, what have you. Could be anything. And, um, or, you know, or uh, which we call it? Thundercats. <laughs> I'm going way back here, guys. All right, Isolated Chapel. Nice $5 hit. We're starting to heat up air a little bit. So, kind of get some good stuff. Pause for the cause, guys. While I go through this stuff, I will finish up this story. All right, and we're back. Hey, Kylan. Uh, Guild of Lotus, Isolated Chapel, um, and Oath uh, of Fairy, and also Dampened Fear. Okay, it was a, it's an uncommon that I missed in there. I was going through the prices. I'm like, hey, Dampened Fear. That's something. I was so into my story. I totally, uh, totally lost track. So, sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that. All right, hey, Dingo One. There you go, buddy. Nigga one, he's got six packs. So, here we go. And this is starting to heat up. Uh, actually, uh, he did very, very, very good there. Kellen, so very good job, man. Um, yeah, so anyway, I got home from school. My sister's watching MTV, and I want to watch what I want. So, I grab the remote up, the, you know, she's right, right next to her as she's eating a bag of Doritos. And um, anyway, uh, okay, there he is. Not bad, man. Nice hit. Nice hit. I like it. And I grab the remote and, you know, flip the channel. And she's like, hey, what are you doing? And I said, uh, it's Tuesday. It's my day. She goes, it's the first day of the week. I go, no. Yesterday was a holiday. She goes, it doesn't count. I go, too bad, so sad. I go, you wanted Mondays, you got Mondays. Grab the, and she, she had grabbed the remote this time. So I grabbed it back. Tempest Gin. Or <laughs> Sorry about your luck there, bud. Uh, that, was, that was a horrible one. Come on, Dingo. Jesus, man. And uh, she took a chip and she went like this. Ugh, she stabbed my hand because I was I was so quick. And I dropped the remote. I'm like, ah, I actually started bleeding. And like, was, I, I pulled a little bit of chip out of me. I'm like, son of a bitch. So she's like, and she's doing this, like holding up above my head. She was taller than me. Taddy Ova, there you go, man. That's a little something. We'll, we'll sleeve that up for you. And there we go. So, anyway, I kick her in the shin. And her hand goes down. I grab the remote. And I started running with it. And I run in the hallway. And the only thing that's at the end of the hallway is her, is her room. I don't know why I ran that way. I just did. But going in her room was a no-no. And I was like, <gasps> like, you know, even running away from her, I was like, ah. And I, I tried stopping. And I I, I, sh I slid in her room. Okay, Grand Warlord Arata. Not bad. And, uh, and I, you know, and I wouldn't give her the remote and she wasn't upset that I slid into her room, but she like put her arm around me. She puts me in a rear naked choke by accident. Now my brother was the informant. So he would just walk around and follow us and just take copious mental notes of all this shit that she and I would do. And, uh, and I heard, like, I started the, the pass out. Ooh, Benelux Marshall. Not bad. Ooh, Flame of Keld. It is a foil. Could be a little value. And my brother's like, uh, Jen, I think you're hurting him. And like, I started hearing and black lines were zipping across my head. So I was passing out. And, uh, 
She's like, it, she, I couldn't hear what she said. She said something to him. All I saw was her stereo on the ground. And music was her life. I wound my leg back as hard as I could. And I kicked that son of a bitch. And split it in half. And she went, ah! She like, she like let go of me. And I'm like, <gasps> And it was my, you know, with my renewed breath, I, I ran upstairs in the bathroom and locked myself in the bathroom. And she's like, you're effing dead. And I go, I'm telling mom you swore. And she, so I hear her going downstairs. Dun, 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 dun. And then come back up. Dun, 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 dun. And I hear, <laughs> grab my dad's corner screwdriver and started unscrewing the doorknob. Pause for the cause. We'll finish this one up. And we're back. All right, dingo. Man, everybody, this box is really not the most exciting box I've had in recent times. And I usually do good on Dominaria. I do really well. All right. Trent Hammock. You've got three, buddy. You got three. So we got those three right now. So, uh, and guys, I will send out your monthly card with this stuff, by the way. So that, that will happen. So there's my sister. Uh, there am I. I'm in panic mode. Uh, I'm behind the door when my sister's ready to attack me and kill me. And uh, so I knew that the doorknob was going to swing open as soon as the first bolt came out, first nut came out. And I was right there on my hands and knees with my dad's shaving cream. So as soon as that doorknob swung, I went and shot the shaving cream. No, my sister's face was right there too. Shot her right in the eye. Kid you not. Can't make this stuff up. And... Um, Oh, man, Ulta de Ferry kind of showing up for the third time. God, come on, it's teasing us. So there was a there was a separate room. So, like, the bathroom was, uh, you know, was separated by another door. So I, I locked that door, and I'm like, oh, shit, what am I going to do? And I saw the window that goes to the roof. I'm like, oh, okay, she can't follow me out there. She, you know, she was just too big, too large. And, hey, there we go. Trent hitting it with a helm of the hose. Boom, baby. You got a foil back here. And fungal infection. Okay, we'll take helm of the hose. That's a nice one. So I started grabbing up the shampoo out of the out of the tub and spraying it on the floor and taking toilet water and splashing it on top of the shampoo. So as luck would have it, there were a bunch of acorns on the roof. So I reached out the window and grabbed a handful of acorns and fashioned myself halfway out the window. As soon as that door swung open, that second door, I threw an acorn. I had an arm. I still do have an arm. Hit her right in the face. And, and I'm like, come and get me, fatty. And she she lunged right at me. And boom, out went that first foot. And she like went, literally went up and hit down. I saw her head go off the floor. I go, ooh, I bet that hurt. And uh, and I just started chucking acorns at her. And yeah. So she's like, you're fucking dead. You're so dead. She's like, she's hurting too. I could tell. I, I put her in the hurt take with that one. Okay. The first eruption. <laughs> that was my first eruption right there, man. Watching my sister just, just almost die in front of my face after all the crap she put me through. So that was, that's horrible. I shouldn't say that. No, she's, she, and she's a great person. We get along amazingly now. So, all right. Uh, Trent, uh, pause the cause while I put this stuff away. And we're back. Okay, Trent. Nice. Congratulations, man. Bought three packs. That paid pay for your three packs right there. Oh, man. I, I wish I could say the same. I mean, I'm just hoping Rudy. And, and Rudy, by the way, is going to gift this to somebody else, by the way. He told me that. I'm like, all right, man. No problem. You do what you want. You're a patron. It's, it's your packs. So, uh, yeah, as luck would have it, uh, in walks my mom at that moment. Uh, saves my, my sister with a face full of shaving cream, and she's all banged up, and I'm on the roof throwing acorns at her, and the house is destroyed downstairs. The Doritos everywhere. And uh, and I was generally the one that would start stuff. Okay, Woodland Cemetery. Nice, nice Rudy, nice hit. So that is going out to his friend, Miss yeah, Tony. And my friend, too. Tony's my friend, too. So, um, anyway, yeah, uh, it was not a good day for, for us. And it, out of all of it, I'm like, so, Jen, who threw the first punch? That's all I, all I remember saying to my sister. And uh, she's like, do you see what you did to me? <laughs> Marwin, nice. Nah, that's not bad. That's not bad. And... Uh, and I, I go, I go, and I told my mom, like, mom, whoever throws the first punch, right? You've always told me that. Don't ever throw the first punch. And my brother, the one of the few times he actually went to my side, he's like, Jen threw the first punch. 
And I'm like, vengeance is mine. <laughs> so, anyway, we both got in trouble, but her more so. So, there you have it. She was supposed to be watching us. She was supposed to be the mature one. I just laughed at penis of fart jokes. And then I turned on the TV and watched cartoons. That's how that ended. Precarnation Field. Well, Hell and the Host was the only thing we got out of here, guys. But, uh, hey, guys, listen, much love. I wish this box could have been better. I really do. Uh, Rudy, I will pack this up, and just like everybody else, and I will get this stuff out to you guys. Till next time, guys. Toodles. Much love.